Okay, so this is part two of the series, The Quran and the Expanding Universe. The verse in question is the following. And the actual word in question is Musi'un and what it actually means. Now, a few things to note about the word Musi'un is that it's a noun, that it's an active participle, and that it's a plural. Now, the plural aspect of it is just there to denote the majesty and the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The plurality is not in question here. What is in question here is the fact that it's a noun. Now, the word in question is an active participle, as I mentioned, rather than a verb. So what is the difference between using a noun derived from the verb, such as an active participle, and the verb itself? To understand the difference, please watch this two-part series if you haven't already. And this will demonstrate the difference between the verb and the noun usages in the Qur'an. So I recommend you to watch those two parts if you haven't already done so. This will give one a better understanding of the word in question. So it is clear that the active participle indicates either a state or one who engages in action continually. Meaning that he's doing this action over and over and over again. So that's what the active participle indicates, as opposed to the verb. As we showed you, the verb indicates just an action with a beginning and end that is defined within a specific period of time. Now, part of the miraculous nature of the Qur'an is that it uses a word or words that have more than one meaning. And all these meanings are intended. So in the case of this particular verse, the word Musi'un has a number of meanings and all these meanings have been mentioned by the classical scholars of Quranic commentary. If one looks at the classical commentaries, the following meanings are explained by these scholars. So Musi'un means to encompass the heavens. How does Allah encompass it? Either encompassing it physically, meaning that he has power over it through knowledge, that he, he knows everything that goes inside it, and obviously authority, that he has authority over it. Now it's possible that Allah Taala could have used a different word. For example, he could have used the word, instead of saying, وَإِنَّ لَمُسِعُونَ This part here, he could have used, إِنَّ لَقَادِرُونَ That we are, that we have complete power over it. But when he said مُسِعُونَ, he meant all these meanings. So as we said, the first meaning means to compass. The second meaning, means to provide for his creation. So Musa is one that provides for his creation. Where is provision from? It's from the heavens. Either physically, for example, by the rain that he sends down, which brings life to everything on the earth. Without the rain, there will be no life. Or it could be spiritual provision. And we know that everything that one has as a provision is actually written and is decreed by al Taala. And it's been written down in Allah al-Mahfuz, in the preserved tablet. And the third meaning, and this is also, I mentioned this in part one, it means to expand something or to make something vaster. So it's to a physical expansion of the heavens. So all these meanings are in the classical commentaries and the classical dictionaries. Now, there's one point, as I mentioned in the last video, is that how do we know that this is taking place constantly? Because we have the expansion is an ongoing process. You'll notice that all these actions, the meanings that we talked about, are represented by a noun, musi'un, and it's not a verb. So these acts of encompassing, of providing sustenance, of expanding, are not confined to a particular time. So, a noun, as opposed to the verb, indicates one, a perpetual state, or two, one who engages in action continually. It's very clear in the language of the Qur'an that the expanding universe is mentioned, specifically. It's one of the meanings in the word Musi'un. Now, the fact that People didn't know that, that the universe was expanding is actually 
proof that the Quran is the word of God. Scientists prior to last century didn't know that the world was expanding. Now this is the same verse but what I've highlighted here are two particles of emphasis. We have the inna and the la. Now if we go to the verse that comes after it, it says وَالْأَرْضَ فَرَشْنَاهَا فَنِعْمَ الْمَاهِدُونَ and the earth we spread it out, and excellent is the preparer. Um, there's no emphasis in this particular verse. This, this comes straight after it. So the first one's talking about the heavens, and there's emphasis there. A double emphasis. While on earth, there was no emphasis. So, the question is, Why? Is not Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala trying to show you that this process of expansion is not a random process based on chance or, or an explosion that took place with no cause but is due to his own divine will and power and the fact that he's mentioned it and emphasized it in the Quran this should really get you thinking is it not time that you accepted the truth and submit to him the one who has power and knowledge over all things.